Um, okay, so in this class, yo, yo, it's a summer class. For each unit, each module, I list readings, viewings, podcasts, comic books. Yo, it's summer, yo. Are you going to do that stuff and do the lectures and do it? No. Unlikely. Unlikely. Okay? But do your best to do that stuff. Okay? Um, but most of your, your time in this class is going to be spent watching me. I, it's horrible. Um, at least I try to lecture around my, you know, the homestead. Um, a lot on my tractor. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, uh, you know, to kind of spice it up, you know, switch it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, you're going to be watching lecture videos, taking quizzes on that stuff and, uh, you know, writing a couple responses, short responses a week. So, you know, you got to plan for a couple hours ish per module, um, uh, to complete them successfully. Okay. And then, you know, five hours or so, um, on your final project. Okay. So your grades in this class, pretty simple. Half of your grade is quizzes. Quizzes are open book, open note, whatever. Um, you have 25 minutes to do each one. There's one for each, um, each uh, module, all right? Uh, you need to do two responses per week, short, under one page module responses. That's worth 10% of your grade, so you do a total of eight. And then you have a final presentation choice, um, you know, that's worth 40%, okay? Um, a quick disclaimer. I, sorry, buddy. Uh, I don't give A pluses. Uh, straight up, they don't exist on a 4.0 scale. An A plus is above a 4.0, so I don't know how that can exist. That's like, a, you know, if I gave you a gold sticker for going, you know, potty in the toilet and not in your pants, like I do with my three-year-old. I actually don't even give him. He's far more advanced than that. He was, you know, two years old potty trained. What I'm saying though is giving you an A plus, giving A pluses to college students is like a participation trophy. Uh, for for people who are you know do well in a class it ain't happening yo so note that there's no A pluses you can get an A that is at the top of the scale it's a full point out it's a great grade I don't give a hundreds either just because you can always do one percent better but you know not really going to be a factor usually in this class most people don't get one hundreds it just don't happen um, but it, if you somehow do, if you get 100% on every quiz, on every module, and on your final project, I'll give you an A+. Plus. Yep. All right. Um, everything's on Canvas, yo. Listen, I do a little Canvas tour. Um, the Canvas is very simple. There's just modules. You know, it's listed out, you know, um, module one, two, three, four is week one. Uh, you know, five, six, seven, eight is week two. It's all very clear. You know what I'm saying? You have the whole week to do four modules, four quizzes, and hand in the two responses. Pretty easy peasy. Okay. Here's the deal. You got a bunch of quizzes in this class. Um, you know, I think six, six, 14 or 16. I dropped the shittiest five. So I'll drop your five lowest scores. That's pretty awesome. So, you know, you could bail on, on on a few of them too. Just not do them and take the take the take the O, and that will get dropped. Um, it's just a matter of how many O's and L's do you take, and then score under. You know, get a, a crappy grade. But those um, chip 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 chip. Watch. Making friends, making friends. Anyways, um, yeah, so there will be, you know, four of those, roughly three, four of those a week. Some modules don't have quizzes, okay, um, whatever. You have two module responses per week. The, sa the prompts are the same for every week. These are all on Canvas, um, very, very simple. They're due Sunday by midnight of each week. You have two of them per week. The quizzes are due Sunday by midnight of each at the end of each week as well. Okay. Um, yeah. So then you have three choices on the final uh, project. Okay. Um, the first is a critical artist remix presentation. You can do a five to seven minute presentation on a critical remix artist. Let me stress critical. Someone who makes beats hip-hop sample based beats is not a critical remix artist they need to be critiquing society celebrity or whatever um you can click on the link on the on the syllabus and will take you to the actual assignment description that you can um, read in full that details everything and even has a video of me telling you what you need 
um, what you need to do. Okay, so that will be that will be due by the um, end of the last week of class. The other, um, you'll also have to submit um, a uh, <clears throat> a short one paragraph proposal um, in week two of, of, of the course, okay? Just so I can make sure you're on the right track. Um, the other option is, you know, yo, you may be an artist or want to be an artist or want to be creative you can do a critical remix so in each module there's an overview and I use a piece of student based or student made or uh, critical art you can check that out you know so you can see what critical art is but you want to be critiquing a celebrity critiquing um, a brand critiquing you know a TV show cr critiquing a um, politician whatever it is okay um, you know, you have to do a short one page write up when you hand this in and a Panam analysis, which you'll learn what that is. Okay. Again, a proposal is due um, in the second, at the end of the second week, I believe, of the class. Um, <clears throat> and you, this is due the last, the project is due the last week of class. Okay. Um, and again, you click on the link, takes you to the full assignment description, rubric, all that good ish. Lastly, yo. Maybe you don't want to do a presentation, a video presentation. Um, you know, uh, maybe y'all don't want to get creative. You want to write a paper. You you want to just write a paper. You don't want to be on camera. You don't want to make slides. You don't want to make art. You just want to write some something. Okay, you can do what's called a synthesis paper. Again, this is due the last week of class by Friday, and you have a proposal due by the end of the second week. Um, one to two paragraph proposal. This is a five to seven page paper where you pick a topic from the class and you extrapolate on it. Um, so you can find something of your own interest. Maybe you make beats and you want to write about, you know, sample, sample, you know, sampling. Um, maybe you, um, you know, again, are into invention and creation and creativity, uh, innovation, and, and you want to invent stuff. So you write about patent or you're concerned about, you know, patenting life or patenting, you know, vaccines or patenting uh, medicine or, or whatever. You could write about that. You know, um, you, you just find a topic that, that interests you, you know, in the class and you sort of apply it to something in your life. And it doesn't really require you to do external research, but you can. Cheep, 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 cheep. Okay. Um, whatever. It's pretty simple, you know, um, shouldn't be that hard to do. Uh, class materials. There's several materials you need for this class. Um, they're all Creative Commons licensed e-books, uh, e so they're free to download in comic books. Um, and you can see the valuable resources page of this Canvas site for more resources or whatever. Um, but you'll see in the Canvas, there's a things to do before class where I tell you what you should read or watch. And hopefully you'll do it, but maybe you won't. Just a, a side note on the quizzes too. Um, you know, I do test you on stuff from the readings, but only stuff I talk about in the lectures. So there's no like hidden gems to make you suffer in there. Um, you know, uh, there's, so there's no secret suffering when you get into the quiz. All the suffering is up front um, <laughs> and known. Okay. Academic mis misconduct. Yo, uh, cheating's bad. You shouldn't, you shouldn't cheat. Um, straight up, just don't cheat. I don't even know how you do this in the class because the, 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 the quizzes are open book. You know, if you have someone do your weekly responses for you, I mean, you can't write under a page about something from the class that you found, found maybe interesting. Like, you're an asshole. <laughs> um, or if you steal someone's idea or bite someone's creativity or something for the final project or don't cite your sources or have someone prepare a presentation for you, you know, that's cheating. And I will, I will, I will, you know, if I catch you, I will get you, I will get, I will, that will get dealt with. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't like cheating, um, but I hate really bad cheating. So, you know, if you're a bad cheater, just stop, okay? Um, in general, you shouldn't cheat, but you shouldn't cheat bad. It's a, a, a some sort of wise proverb or something. Um, if you have AC accommodations, you know I'm down to work with y'all. I know like doing online classes is hard in some ways. Um, 
you know, if you have AEC, just hit me up and I can work with y'all with whatever you need. I have ADHD and dyslexia, a great combination to have, mind you. Um, um, so I get it. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm down to work with y'all. Give you a bunch of resources at the end of the syllabus just in case you need them. Those are for you. Um, but yeah, this, this is pretty, you know, that's the syllabus right there. Chickens yeah. just went crazy. Everybody just went crazy. They don't like flopping things. Spanky. Thanks for joining me on the syllabus tour. I hope you enjoy this class. Um, and have a good one. It's the real Dr. Dre, DJ Food Stamp. Here goes Beard Homestead with the chickens, Spanky Davis, the Wonder Chug. And I'm out. Have a great term. <laughs>